Enormous deficit spending by this Prime Minister caused the Bank of Canada to hike its interest rates for the seventh consecutive time this year. An average mortgage will cost Canadians an extra $7,000 in interest payments alone. This Prime Minister's reckless spending has already driven up the costs on gas and groceries, and his failed energy policies will make home heating costs double. He'll further pile-drive Canadians financially with, when his failed carbon tax increases this year. Why won't the Prime Minister stop his wasteful inflationary spending, axe the failed carbon tax, so Canadians can keep the heat on this winter and food on the table? The right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, the Conservatives are nothing if not at least consistent. They continue to ask us to stop being there to support Canadians. They opposed the child care agreements that we signed with the provinces, uh, child care agreements that we're enshrining into law with legislation we're bringing in today. They opposed the dental support for low-income Canadians to make sure uh, the kids have the best start in life possible. They oppose the rental supports uh, that we move forward to deliver for Canadians. Uh, they stood against the kinds of supports we were flowing uh, to Canadians through the dark times of the pandemic. Uh, we will continue to be there for Canadians and remain fiscally responsible, because that's what Canadians expect. Well, member for Calgary, Forest Lawn. Mr. Speaker, it's easier for this Prime Minister to sit in his ivory tower and blame everyone else and spend even more of Canadians' money to cover his own inflationary mess. His inflation tax is going to cost Canadians an extra $3,500, according to the Governor of the Bank of Canada. He is the architect of sending 1.5 million Canadians into a food bank, half a million of which were children. He's responsible for one in five Canadians skipping meals. He keeps failing, and can Canadians continue to be on the hook for it. When will he understand Canadians can't afford any more of his failures and just want to eat and heat their homes? The right honourable Prime Minister. Speaker, the Conservatives say they stand with Canadians and then they stand in opposition to measures that ensure that Canadians can send their kids to the dentist. Then they stand in opposition uh, to measures that will give families uh, who pay a large amount of their low incomes on rent uh, to get an extra bit of help. Uh, then they stand against and continue to stand against uh, child care fees that have been cut in half across the country that is not not only uh, giving opportunities uh, for kids to get the best start in life, not only uh, supporting parents when uh, the cost of living and payments are so high, but at the same time ensuring that our economy grows as people participate fully in our growth. Yesterday, the Minister of Public Safety repeatedly claimed that vigorous security processes are in place, except that that isn't true. Government officials are on record saying that security issues were not considered when this contract was awarded, a contract that affects our national security directly. So, Mr. Speaker, when will the Liberals finally accept responsibility for this complete failure on their part to protect our national security? Yeah. Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. Than safeguarding our democracy, Mr. Speaker. The RCMP have confirmed that the contract with Sinclair Technologies has been suspended and that they're conducting further reviews to ensure that the integrity of our infrastructure is, 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 is in, in place. Given the current geopolitical dynamics, we're taking all actions to, to combat foreign interference, Mr. Speaker. Thank you.